Hello, viewers. Scooting my chair up. Um, I had a funny thought, and my guides were kind of laughing with me, and they're like, read on that uh, to lighten things up a little bit. Um, I've been watching if Rachel Maddow for the last two nights has been just information overload. There's so many new investigations coming out and so many new people under scrutiny. Uh, I literally am sitting down with a notepad making notes of everybody I want to read on this coming up. But in the meantime, I had this funny thought. Could the Kardashians have run the country better than Donald Trump? <laughs> You know, we have Chloe now, who I believe is Chloe that's worth over a billion dollars. They certainly know how to do money, get you know, make money profitably, um, and not through a lot of nefarious, you know, things. Although, you know, it's reality TV. I am not a Kardashian fan. Let me just put that out there. I am not a reality TV fan. I don't watch, you know, the Housewives of Orange County and the Housewives of Atlanta and all that. Not, not into it. Not my thing. Too much drama, too much made-up drama, uh, too many um, people just starve for attention. Well, okay, so you have the Kardashians, and they're like that. But so is Trump, right? So I was like, well, you know, if the Kardashians had been in the White House, we at least would have cameras everywhere, and we'd have more transparency, and we would know what's going on. So let's just ask the cards. Would the Kardashians have been better at running our government than Donald Trump. Better for our economy, better for bringing people together. Oh, they would have charged in. They would have just charged in. <laughs> almost blindly without a plan. <laughs> there would have been a lot of erratic things going on with them too. Oh, two cards coming out. So, in the middle, they would have you know, been messengers, of course. They would have gotten their message across, their, their uh, communication. Um, this shows also, you know, being a page, a lot of immaturity. <laughs> um, not being a king, but being a, a page. Um, and they, they would have been in, you know, defense mode quite a bit, that, but they would have protected things too. You know, the, this is people that they get battle weary, but they're ready to do the fight again if they have to. Their challenge would have been to come up with a plan. Their challenge and on a global scale. So their challenge would have been on a global scale, um, meaning world relations, um, but here, interesting, at the root of this is the world card, which is about success, victory. <laughs> um, you know, it's the victory wreath on it. It's end of a cycle, beginning of something new. They would have, like, been starting new things. Um, recent past... A loss. Uh, recent past the loss regarding working together as a team. So maybe they're getting fractured too, just like Trump's team. Um, and some are getting paid and some are not. Some are getting wealthy, some are not. Uh, so that would have, that's showing in the recent past. So you guys let me know, anybody that watches the Kardashians, um, are they getting fractured? Are they not working together? Is there something going on that uh, is kind of splitting up the teamwork? Um, crowning the reading is putting a lid on emotions. Uh, this is, you know, the Queen of Cups is also support. Um, 
um, a loving support. And it feels like, uh, yeah, it, feel, if, it feels like America, actually. It feels like um, they would have been more supportive of America, <laughs> is what I'm feeling. Um, near future, though, we've got the thief card. Someone's trying to get away with something. Somebody's taking something that isn't theirs. Um, climbing to higher ground or going into defense mode here? Uh, being put in defense mode. I'm going to say being put in defense mode because someone took something that didn't belong to them. There's a new inspiration, a new plan. Um, and the, the emperor. So there's, there's definitely um, a powerful man that's coming up with um, a new plan. Yeah, and he has, he has a proposal. He has a proposal. They're going to be bonding again. They're going to be uh, making new commitments and bonding again. So whatever has fractured them in the past, they're going to come back together. Um, you know, and here's the loving, supportive king. Um, so looking at would they have run our country better, um, they might have tried to get away with some things. Um, but they do bring things back together. They do know how to work and bring things back together. Um, they do know how to communicate, so we would have transparency. Um, they do know how to sit pretty financially. They do know... Um, yeah, illumination, bright sunny days. I'm, I'm going to say, yes, the, the Kardashians would have brought more, more joy to our country. <laughs> okay, just a quickie fun reading. Sorry, I had to ask. Um, I'll be doing some other readings today. I was kind of on a roll yesterday, and I'm feeling it again today. So um, in between personal readings, I'm going to try and do some other uh, videos for you guys and try to catch up. I'm also, in addition to all the things that Rachel Maddow has been bringing out and um, Ari Melber. Um, there's a, a video I s saved of Ari's in my must-watch playlist um, that is really a great video. If you're feeling like a lack of hope right now or frustrated, um, wondering how things are going with the Mueller and everything, uh, Ari, the, at the beginning of the show, he started out by, you know, playing all these clips of Fox News, which are like, you know, oh, it's a witch hunt, it's a witch hunt, all that, blah, blah, blah. But then he breaks it down to how, to the most successful investigation by um, special, a special counsel um, ever in the history of our country. So you guys go watch that. That's very uplifting. Uh, makes you feel better about how things are going and kind of puts to bed a lot of the lies that are going on with Fox News, too. So... Um, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I'll come back with something probably a little more serious, although I do want to look at Devin Nunes and his uh, um, suing Twitter. <laughs> have to look at that. I can't help it. Have to look at that. Thanks for watching. If you like, please click like and subscribe to see future videos.